Okay, so back after my dog destroyed my trash can, I think he was trying to find some food because I was eating actually filet mignon uh, right before I was making this video. I cooked myself one and didn't look really like the taste, so I threw it in the trash can and I guess my dog really likes filet mignon. And that's him again. So and there you go. What can you do, right? I mean, wow. He is uh, very hungry, I guess, and there's not much I can do to stop him. All right, so let me talk about Alpha Investments, a tough uh, talk, investors go bankrupt. It's not just Alpha Investments. I don't wanna just target him. Sports card investor, you know, the great curator, uh, a lot of people pumped and dumped. Uh, we can go on and on. Uh, with various other individuals on, in sports card market, Sasha T, who no longer even makes a video, not even his whatnot podcast, Backyard Breaks, another one that pumps and dumps. And what people are finding out is these heavy bags that have been sold to you as investments during the good times, yeah, they do seem like investments, right? They go up in price. There's a you know, sports card investor has an app called Market Movers that tracks their daily movements every day, so it's almost like a stock. They want you to believe that your sports cards are like stocks. And they want you to believe that MetaZoo and Flesh and Blood, these are the next big games that you can get in on the ground level. Um, no, <laughs> that's not true. And what we're gonna find out, and you know, Alpha Investments videos, which I watch on live stream multiple times, um, he seems like, oh, hey, I'm getting hate things. And you know, he's appealing to your general sense of, oh, wow, he's, you're, oh, wow, he, he's getting targeted. And you know, hey, even my own, the reason I don't live stream no more is because I realize that when we watch these videos together, the, even my own viewers, they get very emotional and very defensive about him. Because he's, oh my God, I'm just some poor Timmy and these guys are writing me hateful emails about flesh and blood, oh, I can't believe. He's richer than you will ever be. And he sells more product. He's sold actually more 6.9 anniversary boxes than even Wizards of the Coast. I think he sold, what, 3,000 of those boxes? And Wizards of the Coast sold less than 2030 of anniversary. Just think about that for a moment. This product that everyone hates So less, supposedly, again, I don't know these numbers. This, this is just the numbers that are out there. So less than 2,000 to the public. And he sold, you know, 3,000. So, I mean, he's he's making more money than Wizards of the Coast is with minimal to no back, which we'll talk about Lean Heart and Rudy's uh, 6.9 mystery boxes soon enough and whether or not repacks are something that we should encourage, right? Backdoor Break does repacks. I think somebody say Jab's family, I watched them. And I can, I basically, Cool Trainer Ryan has a very good video about repacks and you should watch it, like mystery boxes, right? And he makes a very, he makes some really solid points. I'm glad that he says it because he's this kind of, you know, somebody got to say it, nobody's going to say it, you know? So back to the, 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 the thing. So I'm watching this video of my live stream people. And then like, he's like, you know, he's like crying and he's like, he's not crying, but he's like, oh my God, I get so much hate and people don't believe in Meta Poo. And, <laughs> and, then, and then like his emotional thing, he convinces my live stream that I'm wrong. And that's why I'm not live streaming anymore because I had, I, I had enough of them. And you know, this just so illogical, 100% emotional. It's like, how can I put it? It's a multi-millionaire who will be richer than you will ever be complaining about emails, which he probably doesn't even read because there's so many of them, calling flesh and blood a meta zoo scam. And then he's saying, oh, well, if next year is real bad. People will not like my content much while getting hundreds of thousands of, of views. He knows what he's doing. You know, I'm a very unemotional person. I'm a very logical person. Um, I've never really tried to appeal the emotional side because that's not what, you know, I'm a lawyer. Uh, emotions don't get you very far in the legal system. We have laws, we have statutes, we have things to prevent emotions from playing a big impact in our decision. So even if a jury gets really emotional, 
you got still got to follow the judge's order, right? Hey, you got to think. And there's only very few cases where they can get so emotional, they just disregard what the judge says. It's happened. Um, in those cases, you can understand. They're basically John Grissom books. I, I, you know, they're basically that dude writing, you know, about the, the most unfair uh, cases in the history where the jury is like, oh, this, this is bad. So back to the, the, the uh, negativity or whatever you want to call it. Look, my dudes, if Kevin O'Leary hates crypto, gets paid the money, promotes FTX, and you trusted Kevin O'Leary because he's on Shark Tank, he's a big celebrity, he's being sued right now. Uh, Justin Bieber is being sued for Bored Ape. Uh, as well as, you know, Tom Brady. We can talk about uh, Tom Brady, Shaq, Steph Curry for FTX. They were influencers who promoted something. Uh, Graham Stefan, Meet Kevin, Andre Junk, they all promoted FTX. I mean, the, the list of people on their payroll is extensive. Yeah, they're gonna get hate because when you mess with somebody's money and you mess with their livelihoods, you know, instead of buying that extra Monarch First Edition case, you could have bought a new gift for your wife or your daughter or whatever, your son. You bought, you know, a nice uh, car for, you, for your college kid. I find that, you know, it's very, like when you're, it's, it's like when you're a Graham Stefan or you're, you're literally giving financial advice, but then everything is not financial advice. You know, you make sure that you have a disclaimer and you don't really have any expertise. You're not certified. You're not, you know, when sports card investor is telling you to invest in sports cards as if it was like a stock market, as, as if it literally was a stock, right? The whole idea of the market mover app, it's a stock. It goes up and down just like a stock does every day. Um, I find this very, very shocking that these individuals who've been promoting this stuff, Lean Heart, again, we'll talk about Lean Heart soon enough, is they're surprised. Oh, oh, I didn't know that you would, you know, I didn't know. They, you, they lost their money listening to financial advice, quote, not financial advice. And they put their money in crypto, they, they put their money in FTX and BlockFi, Celsius, Voyager, and you'll know, forget the crypto, go to NFTs, right? Board Ape is being sued. Everyone is suing all these influencers for promoting products that maybe at the time they didn't know was a scam, but it definitely is in hindsight, right? Um, now, what does that have to do with Alpha Investments videos? He knows what's coming. When times are really, really good, people people buy. They over leverage and they buy on the, they listen to YouTubers, they take their advice. Oh, their advice worked out. You know, my crypto is now double. And just like Boogie, right? Boogie supposedly was bragging about how much money he had that he never had to work again his entire life. And then he put it, and then he has a video saying, oh, I became rich from crypto. And now uh, he is begging you for money because crypto didn't work out. So uh, long story short, you know, what type of responsibility do people have on YouTube to give you advice on what to do? At the end of the day, you're the one who makes the decision, yes but that does not mean the influencer didn't have any effect on you. And this is kind of the debate that we're having on my other channel on a much, much larger scale than this. But when somebody tells you to invest in MetaZoo or Flesh and Blood and they themselves, you know, are, you know, close to the owners, they get their own promo cards, their own play mats, like, oh, you know, play mats after play mats, they have, um, multiple, you know, I mean, Meta Zoo is real interesting. The top, out of the top like 100 cards, I think like 15 of them are cards of Rudy in the same posture. They didn't even give him like a new um, image or anything. They just kind of threw costumes on the old. He's got like a hand like this. I, I was looking at it, it's the same artwork. You would think like for your most valuable cards, you could put Rudy sitting down, you could put Rudy like, you know, doing a headstand or doing other stuff. Um, things are going to get bad, guys. And when things get bad, people want to blame some people. Now, I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just saying it's human nature. <laughs> guys, 